Hello everyone, my name is Diana and I'm a makeup and beauty lover and I've been away for quite some time but I'm back with a video and today's video is gonna be a get ready with me with Halloween themed makeup so it will not be a Halloween makeup tutorial but I've just gathered my kind of Halloweeny makeup that I have from special collections and that's what I'm going to be using today. For starters, I'm gonna go with this primer. This is the Catrice and Maleficent primer. It's from the Disney Villains collection. As you can see, I've already used up quite a bit of it and I actually do really love it. It says it's an illuminating primer, but I also think that it is a gripping primer. So it has a bunch of beads that just burst into your skin and just give it a few minutes and it will become very sticky. I don't know if this primer is still available but I do know that they have a new one from the permanent collection that is really similar to this one so if you would like to try it maybe buy that one. Just for my base, I don't have Halloween themed base products, so I'm just going to use my regulars. This foundation from Kiko, my e.l.f. camo concealer and my powders. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have my base makeup done, I'm gonna go ahead and use an enormous palette. <laughs> this one right here, this is the Revolution and DC collection. Like ginormous palette. And I'm actually going to take the bronzer and the highlighter that this palette has. First of all, the packaging. Love it. And then all of these shades and colors perform really nicely. As you can see, it has four bronzer shades, like a blush shade, highlighters. And I'm gonna use this bronzer right here. They are very pigmented, so if you have this palette, just be aware of that. Yeah, this was the bronzer, and I actually really do like this tone of bronzer. And for blusher, I don't want to use any of the blushes that are in here. I want to use this Essence and once again the Villains, Disney Villains. This is the Ursula one. It looks like this and I absolutely love this blush. It looks bronzy but on my skin it turns more pinky. But it is a neutral shade, so, so it will go with pretty much any look you do. For highlighter, I want to go with the She Glam and Cosmic Come Up highlighter. I bought the entire collection and this highlighter came with it. If you want me, I can do a review of that collection. I've done it on my TikTok. So if you want, go check the box below that I have my info there. But I'm going to use this highlighter and actually this is a like a hard pen. So I'm going to need a stiffer brush to be able to get the product out. So something like this. And this has a blue reflex to it. But it is stunning. It is definitely a unique highlighter in my collection. And great for this time of year. So now to set all of the powders in place, I have this fixing spray from Revolution Game of Thrones. And it is what I'm going to use. Okay, so I just lined my lips with a random lip liner and now I'm gonna go with this liquid lipstick from, again, Revolution and Game of Thrones. This one is the Aria Stark and 
It is my favorite ca character from Game of Thrones. I love this color. I love purples and this is an excellent color. Now for palette, I have here a really special palette because it is a indie Portuguese brand. It is called Odd Beauty and the palette is called Lucrecia, which is the owner's little furless cat. And I think this palette is amazing. Look at all of these colors have neutrals, purples and greens. This screams Halloween time to me. And the packaging. Let's appreciate this beautiful packaging. I will leave a link down below if you want to support the brand. And I think they have some pigments as well. But yeah, it is a small brand, small indie Portuguese, like I said. So I'm going to use this palette today and I want to create a greenish look because I've used the purples and they were chef's kiss amazing. So I'm going to go with the green look. I want to start with this shade right here called Creature. She's like a murky olive green. I'm pretty much going to put it all over the lid. If this is not the most Halloween color, at least like murky, swampy green, I don't know what it is. Now I'm going to go with a darker shade, which is called Goblin. I'm going to place it on the other corner. This is more of a foresty green color, very pretty. Now for the inner corners, I'm gonna go with this whitish shade called Fangs. And I know this has a reflex, like a green reflex to it. I hope you can see, these shades are kind of difficult to translate to camera but in real life it is absolutely magical Yes Now for the shimmer shade I want to use Gremlin So this green right here and I'm gonna use my finger, it's my favorite way to apply shimmers Once again, amazing pigment and yeah, like I am so happy, so happy that there is such an amazing makeup brand. Okay, so now for under my lash line, I'm gonna go with that green goblin and just go ahead and go through my lash line. Like so. And now for eyeliners, I have two from that She Glam and Cosmic Co collection, which are these guys with the little aliens. I'm gonna put the green one on my waterline. These are all shimmery. And I'm gonna use the black to do my lash line right here. Just like this. Now, for mascara, I'm gonna use, again, Game of Thrones and Revolution Mascara. I'm actually really liking this mascara. It is not a, like, extra volumizing, extra lengthening mascara, but it is nice, a nice mascara to wear from every day. Okay, and now just to finish up the look, I'm gonna wear a gloss. And this one is the Colourpop and 
Hocus Pocus 2 collection. This is called Boys Will Love Me. <laughs> and look, it is so beautiful. It has a bunch of like shimmers and glitters inside. And this one kind of looks dark on your lips, so... I would definitely wear this with a darker color underneath, or it just looks grey. You can wear it with a red or like the color that I'm wearing. This was the look for today. I hope you liked the video. If you want me to do any more of this Halloween themed makeup, I have a bunch of palettes that I like to collect that are Halloween kind of inspired. So just let me know in the comments. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day. Please be kind to yourself and others and see you on the next video.